Hey boys and girls, well I hope everybody uh, had a great Christmas and God bless you with uh, good times with your family and everybody was safe. And uh, this is the intro to the video that we're going to be, you'll be seeing here shortly. I want to apologize for how long it's taking. I was hoping I'd have it out before Christmas rolled around, but um, the project was a little more involved as far as uh, video editing was concerned. The assembly of the cardboard sections you're going to see took uh, literally me fiddling around in the room uh, over an hour. Uh, and I have it on my flip video camera and it sucks about an hour worth of video. So <laughs> to shorten the time so that you're not suffering miserably, I went into my video editing software and I sped it up as fast as we go, which is uh, 12 times over. Well, even that really wasn't fast enough considering I had other stuff I wanted to add in. So I had to save the files out, uh, two or three of them, and then re-edit them again just for this single purpose and speed it up 12 times again. So, you know, 24x, uh, you miss some cute kitty cat shots in there, but at least it got through all the nonsense. The purpose of this is uh, not really... To, to leave the, uh, the unit here permanently installed or even installed for the entire season, I really don't think I will, but just to kind of do a proof of concept, which has already been proved by lots of other people. And you're going to have a great time if you like the idea. Get here on, on uh, YouTube and search for Solar Furnace or, or other random keywords, and you'll find tons of, of uh, people this literally hundreds of people probably that have built this in a multitude of different ways and with excellent results not my low temperature results but I mean you know, 120, 130, 140 degrees uh, using insulation no insulation on this at all but you know this was a freebie my goal is hopefully before next winter rolls around to do a really large one uh, there's a lady that built one she has plans uh, I probably don't need the plans. I think she sells them for five bucks. I'll have to look and if I can find the link I'll post it uh, But she's made one basically it's three or four sheets of plywood wide by a sheet of plywood high and Basically heats her house with it. So uh, Pretty amazing, but anyway, I just thought I'd qualify all this beforehand. This is obviously not uh, Pretty it is not uh, weather resistant <laughs> And it's not something I'd leave in here, but I'm just showing you that, uh, you know, if I'd taken more care building it and siliconed it in and take some other precautions with the window, you could probably uh, skate by a whole season with it um, and use it that way. You know, of course, not where any of your neighbors could see it because it's so butt ugly. But, you know, I live out in the country and it's in the back window, so all is good. Anyway... I hope you enjoy the video, and um, hopefully in the next week or three here I will get around to doing the rest of my videos that I've started and just haven't finished. Take care. I uh, hope you had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all. Alrighty, boys and girls. The theory behind uh, this is uh, this is going to sit on my windowsill, uh, theoretically in my back room and uh, turn it around a little bit here, lean it up against the tripod. I have uh, the back end, of course, is just pretty much sealed and I have two openings here. I have this one, which I'm going to push the air into and I have it sealed off to the side there. And this will be the return section, which is pretty much open all the way across, except for, you know, except for the spot here. You see it's open all the way across there. So the, the, the room temperature air will have a blower blowing it through this section here, down through this little box area here, down here, and it'll be, uh, the air will be mixed in this area all in here, where I will have my black painted aluminum cans. Uh, I'm not even going to punch holes in or anything. I'm just going to leave them like they are. They'll absorb the heat. And mix the air, and the air will be forced back up through the corner over here. I initially was going to run that all the way down to like here, but uh, Oscar is very interested. But 
but it changed my mind. So that is the theory behind it. And I just went outside. It's kind of dark out. It's uh, six or se- six o'clock, I think. Went out back and uh, put a bunch of cans on the ground and spray painted them to my uh, to my fingers, charger, and a little bit of black on them. And uh, tomorrow or the next day, whenever I get around to it, I'll get out there and flip them over and paint the backside. Then I've got a bunch of clear, thick mill uh, plastic you can buy by the roll, wherever, uh, that we used when we were painting. So it's not clear, clear, but it's it's dirty clear, but it's good enough. And once I have the aluminum cans lined up how I want in there, I'll probably uh, use some, I think I have some spare leftover uh, chicken wire mesh. I might throw that in front of them to kind of hold them in place. And uh, then I'll wrap the whole thing in the thick mill plastic, which should waterproof it pretty well. Hopefully I have enough box tape left over. And if not, I'll dig out some duct tape. And then we uh, will take the ob- ugly child here and uh, we will go out to the back room and back here pizza's almost done so and I'm going to hang it out this window here which is pretty close to my air conditioner which hopefully the heat pump won't be running too much during the day once we get it uh, in there I don't know what fan I'm gonna run on it but uh, as Oscar Oscar's uh, inspecting it for us oh you're gonna clean yourself he does this like four trillion times a day Eat dinner, clean my balls. Take a nap, clean my balls. Look out the window, clean my balls. <laughs> uh, and he always aims it at you. I don't know what the deal is. But anyway, this this room is actually pretty high off the ground. So, uh, hence the tall nature of the box. Hello, Miss Wendy. Hence the tall nature of the box. So it's pretty high off the ground. We'll hang the ledge inside. Pull it down and then I uh, will, uh, once I have this encased in the thick mill sheet, and then I'll probably hang a mill sheet over the edge here from the window to keep any rain from getting that. And we'll test it out for uh, a few weeks or maybe all winter, what's left of winter, and see how it does. Okay, boys and girls, we're outside. This is actually day two. I started uh, spray painting those the other night and it was cold out. So a can of Rust Oleum, it's not high temp paint, but oh well. And a bunch of cans and some happy bees are drinking the juice. I have some leftover plastic from when we were painting. And uh, so I'm going to repurpose. That's the new word. People like to use repurpose. Instead of recycle or reuse or used crap. But uh, anyway, let's get to the fast forwarding of the, uh, of the whatever the hell here. Apparently there was some left in the box, so we may try and use that. I don't know, I'm gonna let this dry and we'll see what, how it goes. And we'll let this stuff dry too. Okay, I'm losing the sun, but it's done! Yay! It is. Is that not the most butt-ass ugly thing you've ever seen in your life? 
but it's installed and uh, I'm not gonna get much sun as you can see we're losing the sun here and a lot of it's behind the building edge now but if we're gonna catch a little bit I should have got a little bit tighter I guess I can put one more strand of tape across and it'll kind of keep from acting goofy on me and uh, then I'll see what kind of fan I can dig out you can see Oscar's attention is uh, He's curious. <laughs> okay, boys and girls, this is the, uh, the business, the other business end of it. Just kind of uh, just shoved it in the window, and you can see the sun is about setted, setting, so we're not getting anything in half the uh, metal buildings knocking the temperature off. It's a chilly uh, 62 and dropping out there. I can shove my arm down there, and it's uh, nice and cool. I don't know what the temperature is outside, but, uh, but anyway, we'll uh, see what we get tomorrow, and I'll figure out some sort of fan to shove in the hole, and we'll play, uh, play with some temperatures. All right, boys and girls, good morning. It is a beautiful, uh, you got to love the kitty cat. <laughs> it's a beautiful um, Thursday before Christmas coming up. And we got our project in here yesterday, and it is still pretty early in the morning. We'll call it 10 or 11. And let's see, this direction is east, so south is just somewhere over in here. So we have no direct sunlight. Holy cow, that was deja vu. Kitty cat here, Oscar. Kitty cat outside looked just like Oscar. Freaky. I'll tell Winnie about that. Anyway, so no direct sunlight on it. And we'll sneak outside here for just a second. Throw my cat into a tizzy. And we'll step down here and see where the sun shining is at. Okay. Sun shining is, oh, there we go. So no direct actual sunshine on the device. Uh,. But it is, I guess, but it's at an angle. And uh, there it is. I don't know if I trust it in the rain. I'll have to come up with a better ceiling method around the windows and uh, play with it. So anyway, I wanted to show you that from the outside. We'll come back in here. There is our kitty cat. And uh, it's still 40 something to 50 something outside. We have a temperature of 83.2 degrees inside the uh, inside the box, which is pretty good for some side sun on a cool day. So, see, I've got some leaks there, but I'm going to uh, get a fan and uh, play with it and see what we get, and I shall return. My, my video size, so sorry about that. This is day two. I'm not going to let it run too long because my wife has complained about the stink. I pulled the fan back and it's blowing in slowly. And I took uh, my wife's meat thermometer. I'm sure she's going to love that. And it's 83.3. Uh, it was 87 a minute ago, so it's slowly dropping. It is uh, 38 degrees outside. Let me turn down my HF radio there. And uh, so it's, it's slowly dropping. But I backed it off so it's not blowing in so fast. It gives the heat a little more time to uh, propagate through the window. Now, mind you, I didn't insulate this box at all. There's zero insulation other than, you know, the little bitty cardboard layer. And the uh, plastic is only a single layer. If I'd taken time to put some uh, cardboard insulation or even doubled up the cardboard, layers all the way around or some foam board or something of course that would cost extra money uh, I probably should have made a double layer on the front about that deep so I could put a layer of the clear plastic and then wrap the whole outside of the clear plastic which would have made a double pane window basically and uh, so it's 82.6 I'm gonna turn off the uh, this which is set to 67 in here let's just turn it off for fun and uh, I'm going to let it run. I have my brother and uh, his wife and baby coming over. So she doesn't want me stinking up the house with the cans. Version 2, which I want to do later, will... 
I'm going to take some dryer vent, you know, that three, four inch dryer vent, which is made of aluminum, and I'm going to do an S shaped snake all the way through there uh, and paint the whole thing up. And I don't know when I'm going to get around to doing that, you know, with my 50,000 projects. And uh, that way it'll eliminate any stink. But, you know, give the cans enough time to cure with the paint on them, it'll work great. So, 80, uh, 82.9 in there. And I'm going to pull the probe out here and uh, maybe hang this from my uh, conspicuously uh, dangerous looking <laughs> lamps here. And we'll just kind of hang it off a lamp and uh, kind of get some room temperature ideas in here. And I will, uh, I think this is the only thing powering that. But I'm going to turn that off for now. And uh, just let it uh, give me some room temperatures. 70.3. And of course the sun's going to warm up the room too, baking on the roof. But that's holding pretty good. I mean, you can feel a little bit. It's not real strong. But 83.8, I could probably move it in a little bit closer. And see what it does. I can feel a little bit. It's not a lot. But... Uh, you can definitely feel a little bit of airflow coming in. You see it's dropped a little bit, 83.5. And uh, anyway, we're going to let it go. And the sun is an awful high angle today. Uh, of course, it's still early and the clouds are out. So uh, anyway, we're going to have fun with it. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to have to squeeze this into maybe a 20-minute video by the time we're done. But uh, very good. Fun, fun, fun. 39 degrees outside it is uh, what's that noonish and it's still cloudy outside uh, 74 and a half degrees I've backed this off so it's uh, mining no insulation on the dang thing at all so it's blowing in room temperature here and uh, it's moving slowly but it's moving a little bit I guess we'll see or holding anyway it's holding I should say it was 69.1 a little earlier. I think it was 69. So very good. Alrighty. It is getting kind of late now. It's, uh, let's see, it's 3.50. It's getting pretty cloudy out outside. Let's see if I have uh, a weather temperature. 42 degrees outside and the sun's not hitting it now. It's dropped down to 69. I've kept the fan running here. And uh, the temperature is 70.4. So it's kept it between 69 and 70 degrees all day long. Uh, even though this is not insulated, it's just a cardboard box with the, uh, the cans in there. It only has a single layer of plastic on it. So all in all, pretty good success for the first uh, try. I'll have to build a second version that uh, is insulated and has a, a double pane on it, so to speak. But uh, pretty cool sampling. I'll dink with it a few more days, and I'll probably uh, maybe seal it up to keep the rain from coming in and uh, just play with it on and off.